I just got this because that's why I haven't been doing so much because I was out of this stuff. I had plenty of white from my last order, but I didn't have any of this stuff. Okay. Oh. going to attempt to make a witch. <laughs> I don't have the thinner wire that I used to have for when I made necklaces. I don't know where it went. <laughs> so I'm making do with twisting the heck out of this. Its arms look a little short, but I may even I may even make the legs smaller or shorter. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Okie dokie. <laughs> this is our flat witch, which is not a witch yet. But I'm going to start working on her. Actually, she'll, she'll bulk out. Uh, I just got this because that's why I haven't been doing so much because I was out of this stuff. I had plenty of white from my last order, but I didn't have any of this stuff. Okay. Oh. A knife. Oh, where did I put the knife? Oh, I put it in here. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty stiff. Now I'm going to try and use some of the things I've learned from watching Ace of Clay that doesn't guarantee a darn thing. Not when it comes to me. <laughs> okay. That's not going to do it. Well, I'll have the other stuff to... I got the stuff to take out the fingerprints. Okay, let's start. I guess I could put it through the pasta roller. That might help. There we go. Right now, I'm just going to cover it.
Okay, I've got the body pretty much, or the dress pretty much worked out. Right now, I'm trying to give her some curves, and I'm not used to doing that very well. So I'm using kind of a smoothing tool right now to see what I can do. My other camera, the, the higher speed camera, eh, battery went dead. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just been speeding it up here, which, I don't know, I think kind of works a little better for me. However, we are really working. I'm not trying, I'm trying to give her the curves on her dress. So I want it to all blend in and just be... What it's, it's just look like what it's supposed to look like. She's going to stay kind of flat. Um, I thought maybe that might kind of be cool. And it saves a lot on clay. <laughs> and my nerves, because they get bad enough as it is. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'd had a little bit of a rough weekend just having some minor disagreements with people. Well, I don't know if they were so minor, but anyway, they were not political, at least. <laughs> Although some think it is. Actually, what I did is I went to the CDC website. There you can see that I am... Finally getting them kind of blended into the rest of the dress. So. Back to the um, disagreements or the things that made me kind of anxious. I went, well, it wasn't the CDC website. It was the CDC page on Facebook. And, oh, the terrible, awful argument that were going on there over this and that and the other thing, conspiracy theories, all that. It just, <laughs> oh, it just kind of, it just got me so anxious because there's no way you're going to convince people that this is not a conspiracy. This is actually a public health issue. The CDC is government agency, but they are separate. They're not a political agency. Anyway, all that, and it just got me, got me kind of wound up. I really tried. I really tried, and I, I don't know why. Well, I guess I didn't try hard enough because I kept listening. Sooner or later, I'm going to get somewhat satisfied with how, sh how this thing is shaped. It just takes a lot. It takes quite a bit to get that blended in, shaped right, smooth. I mean, you don't exactly want one side bigger than the other, you know. Not not when you're making it like this. <laughs> I know some of us have one side bigger than the other because, well, we've had some things done. <laughs> Okay, so I finally got the front of the dress done with her curves there, so I think she needs kind of a bottom. <laughs> so trying to put make a bottom curve for her to add to the dress. She's gonna she's a little flat, but she doesn't have to be that flat. <laughs> she is a woman after all. So right now you can just watch me wrestle with this bottom. <laughs> Okay, I am working that on that little old bottom, and I mean, she can be flat, but we don't want her totally flat. That is what I, mine's plastic. I think it, it's what some with the metal ones call a spoon tool, but I'm using the, the back end instead of the scoop type end so that I can kind of blend that bottom end in. <laughs> but I think she's starting to look like a female. So, 
I don't really mind that she's otherwise kind of flattened and because I don't know it's Halloween and I'm probably going to hang her you know on something all this stuff I'm opening that new smoothing or it's oh it's clay softener that will help me to smooth that out a lot of times we use it at the at, I, it's my ter first time using it. A lot of times it's used at the end to smooth off the fingerprints and get all the fingerprints off. But right now, I just want to get this smoothed out because it's kind of kind of looking dry on me and a little harder to work with. So, yeah, <laughs> there I go. I'm going to spread it all around with a with a paintbrush. I almost said toothbrush. Who does that? <laughs> okay, I'm silly willy, but yeah, see, it's it's a little bit shiny right now. That'll go away, but it's just because it's wet. There's no gloss there yet. But I'm able to smooth her down a little bit, to smooth that dress out. Although I'll be adding some wrinkles in a little bit. We want to get it smooth before we put the wrinkles on so that, or the folds and the wrinkles, whatever you want to call it, um, just to kind of, oh, I'm trying to put a neck on. That's what I, I'm doing, a neck. She needs a neck, guys. <laughs> the poor thing needs a neck. So we are, yeah. Messy hands, messy, messy, messy hands. And this, I don't know, I question if this is where I should have baked her, but I I think maybe it's okay to go on with some of the other stuff I want to add to this part of the sculpture. Okay, here we go. We're going to just finish smoothing out this bit of her for now, and we'll work on it again tomorrow. She's quite the project, but I am I think we're going to just love her. <laughs> Once we get her painted. So, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. And she's cool. She'll be a character. Okay, we're going to end it there tonight. This is going to do in stages. Probably, hopefully only a couple stages, but maybe part of a third. We'll have to see how it goes. We will see you tomorrow. Please do subscribe. Click that little ding -a -ling bell for notifications. And give us a thumbs up for all the work I'm doing and for the nice little curves I'm giving her. So. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. I love you and good night.